Hello, in this PCSX2 video, I'm going to show you the latest PCSX2 version. Currently, they are in development build, but these features will start rolling out into the, you know, the stable branch as well. I find the development build are pretty stable, to be fair, but they are development build for us to let you know. So, and the two main features are the Vulkan support and 64-bit support. So with 64-bit support, it means the emulator can use, you know, 4 gig of RAM or more. With Vulkan support, the performance of, you know, the graphics is much better. You get better performance at the emulator, potentially. And it also means that the performance of lower end systems, especially, you know, all-in-one CPUs where the GPU is on it, you know, an APU, such as AMD Ryzen APUs, they will be able to play games, you know, a lot more playable. And that's a lot cheaper. It's a lot, you know, less power in terms of energy consumption. And you can build smaller systems that you can actually take around. So that's one of the cool things about this. So let me show you how to set it up. It's pretty simple to be fair. So you just open up a browser and literally just go to, just Google PCSX2 go to the PCSX2 website. I'll provide the link in the description. And like configuring controllers is still the same right now. And what will you do is just go to, you know, download. You don't want to go to releases. You want to head over to development, click Windows, because this is for Windows. Just want to say this video is not condoning piracy. I recommend that you own the game that you try and a PS2 as well. So right here, you have Windows or Linux. So this is the latest version, 2303. If you want an older build, feel free to grab one, otherwise grab the latest. If we click this, here we go. We have 32-bit and 64-bit. If you're on a newer system, probably 64-bit be fine. Easy way to check is just go to your computer, type in PC or you know my computer, and go to Computer, System Properties, and in here, you'll say 32 or 64-bit. So if you say 64 bit here, great, you have 64, and you can use either one. Not much reason for you to not use 64 bit. If you have 32 bit, you have to use 32 bit. Okay, so the next thing is what is, what did I just open? The next thing is AVX2 and SSE4. AVX2 is on more modern CPUs. It basically means it has 256 bit registers and SSE4 has 128 bit registers, so half the amount. So make sure you download one that is relevant for your computer. If you have a newer CPU that supports you know, AVX2, you'll support SSE4, so you can download either, but I recommend AVX2. I know mine supports SSE4 only, and the way to find out is if you go back to you know this computer section, Go to processor and get the name of this. So for me, it's i7-3930K, and this is an Intel. If you have an AMD, you'll go to the AMD website. You literally Google the model number, and just go to the manufacturer website. AMD will have something similar for this. And you scroll down, and you can always sort of just press Control F and search, and you'll be right here. So it supports this, supports SSE4. But for AVX, it only supports regular AVX, so I won't be grabbing AVX2. The newer CPUs like Haswell do support it, but mine, do, mine does not. So that is what it is. So it has to be SSE4, 32 or 64 bit. I'll choose 64 bit. So now that that's downloaded, obviously make sure you have something like 7-zip to extract it, because this is a 7-zip you know, file. So what we'll do is make sure you go to 7-zip, Google it, go to 7-zip.org, just download it. Again, same thing, 32-bit or 64-bit, I mean 64-bit or 32-bit, just grab it, open it, click yes, and just install it. My destination folder is probably different because it's just detected, I've already got it, and it's picked up the directory I've already installed it to. I'll close this down, I'll open up this, right click PCSX2, and go to 7-zip, extract to, and here we go. Now, in here, if we open it up, so right now we have a 64-bit version, which is fantastic, and if you go to, again, I've got a separate video on PCSX2, so feel free to check 
that out and I'll provide a link in the description in terms of all the features. But I just want to show you, you know, the highlights. And if you go to config, you know, graphic settings and go to renderer, there is the Vulkan option now. And so yeah, that is the one I highly recommend. There are plenty of other features here as well. Again, a lot of them were here before, so feel free to take a look at them. But the main one, the main one that we are interested in is not this, not this, but Vulkan. So obviously if you try Vulkan and it doesn't work very well, fall back to OpenGL and Direct 3D11 and see how that works as well. But it just means that with Vulkan, you'll potentially get more performance, especially as things get better. And especially as this gets rolled out into the main branch, the stable release, you'll get better performance and especially on lower end systems, which I know is one of the biggest comments I have. And that is, how can I get more performance? And I ask what type of computer you have, and it's usually pretty low end. And honestly, there's not much that you can do. With Vulkan, there's potential, potential that you'll be able to play at better frame rates. So let's just try a game. So let me go to system, boot ISO. And for me, I've got Crash Nitro card here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I need the BIOS file. And one moment. Doo -doo -doo. I already have the BIOS. Let me just add it for this. I'm pretty sure I already have it. An open file location. Let me go. <laughs> ah, no problem. I did have it somewhere, but I've it's placed it. I'll just type in PS2 BIOS, not VIOS, BIOS. And our video comes up right there. Pretty cool. So let's just open this up. And I'll use this website. I think I've used this one before. Yeah, click download. Click here. There we go. And now if I just open this up. Copy that, go to PCSX2, and where did he want me to put it again? Let's have a look. He wanted it in BIOS. Paste it there, boom, and now let's launch the game up again. There we go. The game is just loading up. And here we go. So the game has loaded up. Let me just configure some controls. I don't actually have controls configured. Okay, so we want to go for weather d-pad up, left, right, down, and I'll just do face buttons, do those X and C. I'll just stick with these buttons, that should get me into the game and working. Obviously, feel free to mess around with the settings and go into graphic settings. Let me lower this down. Feel free to, you know, increase the internal resolution so it looks even better. I'll, yeah, I'll whack it up to that. So, yeah, it looks a bit better now. Okay, here we go. So, continue with our saving. 
adventure new actually team bandicoot and okay Yep, that's fine. I just want to get in game and show you it working. Get rid of Aku Aku. There we go, it is now working. Obviously, performance is a fantastic even whilst I'm recording. And Vulcan, you know, the performance of Vulcan is fantastic. And like I said, this is just a nightly build at the moment. And once this gets to the stable release, which is what most people will be hitting, it's gonna be fantastic. Before I show you this, because I did create a video on a few two, three months back on PCSX2 version 1.7, which was again a nightly build. But this has some great features, 64 bit and Vulcan. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what other videos you would like to see. And any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. The dedicated PCSX2 channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.